And, but one of the things I'm, I'm in the States for is uh, there's a, as I was sitting in South Africa, I heard about or saw it on the internet, uh, because I follow several people as far as uh, the YouTube goes, uh, about the ADOS movement, which is the uh, American descendants of, ch of chattel, what I call the American descendants of chattel slavery. ADOS is American descendants of slavery. Uh, it's, a, it's a movement that started um, by uh, two people, Yvette Cornell out of Georgia, and uh, Antonio Moore out of, uh, out of, out of uh, Los Angeles. They're informed by uh, Professor Sandy Darity out of Duke University. Um, and it's an important movement. I think this is the movement of the times. It's tenement, if you was, if you was back, uh, back in the civil rights movement, same thing. If you was back uh, with the ab 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 abolitionist movement, same thing. It's the same. It's, it's, it's this generation, not us. We, okay. we, it's this generation's movement. But we, are, we as as elders, should be. How um, um, as an elder, we should be able to um, reflect and give support. It's very important because a lot of times elders, they think they're supposed to continue to, you know, lead. But our time, you know, the tip of the spear time for us was basically that Black Arts Movement. That 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 um, civil rights movement, we were tip of the spear. We did what we could do, but we didn't pierce through. Now this ADOS movement to me is the tip of the spear. This doesn't mean that we're not on a spear someplace, but we help that spear. We can pierce through the thing. It's a movement for reparations, mainly. Uh, I, I I I tell everybody it's very simple. Because I used to be a debt collector, among, among many things, <laughs> many things. I've traversed this planet, as Eugene said, but many things. And it's very simple. Reparation just means a debt due. With a debt due, there's no, there's no it's, it's not a demand, it's not a negotiate. You can't negotiate a debt. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. which you, what you do with a debt is you put it on schedule, which means that if, if, if you owe something, you cannot buy new things. Right. <laughs> you cannot engage until you pay that debt. Right. This debt is a debt from a group grouping of people, American descendants of chattel slavery, to the government of the United States. And I, I'm talking about the perpetual government of the United States, not, not, just, not just the people that's in the head now. So it has nothing to do with white people, whatever have you, you see? So that's what, that's what I'm, my, my focus is now. And again, I'm not, I mean, I have my YouTube channel. I started my YouTube channel was basically um, to just record things in my life and sort of just put it together, which, which, which I can now share with you. Now, everybody gets on YouTube and they think that they're supposed to make money. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because my understanding of YouTube when I first got on, because I'm sorry, one of the things I am, one of the essence I am is I'm an archivist. I'm a recordist and archivist. Mm -hmm. like, Eugene is a recordist, you know what I mean? And an archivist. I'm, I do the same thing. I do it in theater, I do it I do, usually for sound, but now we got to, uh, sometimes, uh, anyway. So, so what I, used, I used YouTube in the beginning only, I would tell my uh, group, I started a group in 1982 called Sound Gatherers. Um, and what we would do is we, 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 get, we would uh, record all these forums, these political forums in New York, with Lobby Brath and Samori Marks, but those were kind of big mm -hmm. political forums. And we were the ones recording it. But uh, anyway, the, the long story short, it was chaos, so I organized it. Me and Melvin, we organized Melvin Simmons, we organized it so that basically people would still own their tapes. So that if we need some information, we would share it. So I was told, I told him a long time ago, I said, you know, we have to, you have to make copies someplace else. Because remember, we were just dealing with tapes now. This was, this was acting before dads, this, a little bit before dads came out, before digital stuff came out. And then when YouTube came out, I said, look, this is a backup for all our stuff that we're doing. So in my mind, YouTube is not mm. to make money, it's a backup. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. What I can now do, okay, let me say this. My, t my channel is not monetized at all. Not only is it not monetized, it also is, is, is Creative Commons. There's two things, there's YouTube standard and there's Creative Commons. With Creative Commons, all it means is that you can use anything on my channel, but you just have to give me credit. Oh, okay. That's all, not money, just credit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got this from, you know, yeah. from, from, from that Sloan guy, you know, <laughs> like that. That's all it means. But also, it's not premiered. So what happens, because YouTube has this thing, what they do, I, get, I don't get a lot of views, which I don't want a lot of views. No. <laughs> right? Okay. Okay. I don't need. In fact, if you ever get an email from me, it says, "I, I follow no one and I seek no followers." 
That's he, on every email that he sends out. Wow. Now, it's very important. He said, when I say I follow no one, it doesn't mean I don't respect people, whatever. It means I follow no person. Right. I follow, as, 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 the, as the American Indians would say, the great mystery, the great spirit. Right. If I was to follow anything, but I don't even follow that. Just, uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll get into that part right now. But what happens, because of technology, and since I don't get a lot of views, I don't get a lot of flack, I don't get a lot of, you know, trolls and stuff like that. Which is perfect, because remember, I'm trying to archive things. Right. Now here's the trick, here's the trick. I'm gonna say this, I have to say it this way, Eugene. I got you, I'm listening. I'm brilliant, but I'm smarter than I look. <laughs> when I say that, I mean, you know, when you look at a black person, you know, I, you know, when I dress, I dress down. Well, I mean, when you got scruffy belly, you don't, you don't look like, you don't look like Barack, come on. No, <laughs> remember, there's software programs that can take audio and change it to text. Right. There, 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 are, there are ways that you can take your text, and if, if, if they say, for instance, I get invited, I'm not doing this, I'm not a money person, but if I get invited to a conference, say, I know there's gonna be 300 people at this conference, right? I can publish basically 150 books on the spot to sell at the conference. So, I can take, not only that YouTube channel, all those those hundreds of, of, of postings I put on, I'm talking about just me. I, mean, I got a lot of interviews, stuff like that. I got to interview Eugene sometime when I'm here. I just, with Dean, I just interviewed her you know, a little while ago. But what happens, I have interviews, but I also have my own stuff. So I can take my stuff and, and change it from audio to text. Then I can take that and edit, and I have my books. I can take that if I had a class or, or an institute. I can use it as a way I can say, okay, take this kid and say, okay, now you want to know audio here, you want to do some some stuff, you, you monitor, whatever. Take this take this uh, clip, this this you know, 15 minute, whatever, a seven minute thing, and I want you to pimp it up. When I talk about the river, find find a river, find it, da, 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 so they can have production value. Mm -hmm. So I have to, what I'm trying to say is, is I, my, my, my channel is so that I have the skeletons of stuff, but I can always build on it. Okay. And by building on it, since nobody's paying attention, then I can do what I want. Because nobody's going to pay attention, nobody's going to whatever. I should say the one caveat, when I do these things, because I've been doing uh, radio for, for so long, I usually do, I do them all in one take. I have an idea, I sit down in front of the camera, I riff, four minutes, anywhere from four minutes to 15 minutes, it's done. Mm -hmm. So if you go to my YouTube channel, all those things that you see, they're just one take. Oh they're not goodness. they're not edited or anything. Oh, okay. You see? But it's not no 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 I'm not no, let's let's back up. I know I said a whole lot of egotistical things. It's not for that. It's that we all have muscles. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't use your muscles, they atrophy. Mm -hmm. So so what so what I'm actually doing is exercising that muscle that I've been exercising for, I don't know, 20, 30, I don't know how many years. Because mm -hmm. I first came to community radio when I started with JB at, 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 at uh, uh, Saturday Soul as a Poland residence. I was there, it was 1972, I think. 1972, 1973, somewhere around there. So I've been doing this for, for a long time. Yeah. Okay? One last thing. There's this thing I ask everybody. And I realized when I first came to Africa, something happened to me. This just before I came to South Africa. I first came to Africa in the 90s, the late 90s. I uh, was in Dakar, uh, you know, the, 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 the whole thing, the, the Gory Island, Dora No Return. Ancestors you know, tried to grab me, blah, blah. It's a whole long, long, long thing. I can't explain it right now. But I was, I, I, I have to say, okay, I'll say it this way. I'll, I'll say it this way. I just lost my mind. I had fasted before I came. I was walking around. I was walking around. You hear, you hear this? I was walking around with, with shells on my thing, oh, okay. barefoot. I had. <laughs> I was crazy. And this it was a six. It was this new, this new hotel they had. The conference was taking. It was a radio conference like that. I'm walking around saying hello to everybody. I have my beer and bow. I'm walking around because I was taking capoeira at the time. I played my beer about it. And now you know, there's the, there's the guards. You know, they just. They sort of slow, you know, the, with the little AK for whatever they had. You know, they, they, what this guy's crazy. <laughs> I talked to all the There was uh, somewhere in the middle of the conference. These uh, big uh, African, uh, I think they were finance people came, and I'm brother. Hey, blah 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 blah. Yes, I absolutely lost my mind, but that's all right. And one of the guys there, the only only ADOS person, the only person that was that's like me because the international radio conference. He said he called me over one time. He said, Anthony, look, 
I know you don't take drugs, but these people think that. I said, I said let me tell you something. I said, let me tell you something, oh, no. so Let me tell you something. I come from America. I went through I went through the Middle Passage. I don't know where in Africa I'm from. Therefore, I claim from the Cape to Cairo. I'm, I've been in America. When I say I, now be clear about this. I'm going to talk about my lineage, which is what ADOS is about, lineage. Okay? And I, I said to them, I have information that they need. They don't know they need it. They need it. So my question always is, when I have a group, that's a recent group, I said, well, with the with the Black Panther the movie, what what uh, character do you identify with? Okay, I don't want to take a lot of your time, so I'm going to just tell you right now. I identify with Nakia, the spy. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. She is the one. She's doing her little merry mission, and they go interrupt her. Mm -hmm. I got things to do. What, what do you want me for? I, I got stuff to do. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy died. Okay, you know, okay, da -da. Hey, but, but 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 by the way, you know we should be doing stuff with da da da. So she's da -da. She, she gets the plant, save his life. Da -da -da -da. She lives da -da, da da da. She's been around da -da 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 -da. Meanwhile, you got that idiot, you know, the half the African. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kill everything. I'm gonna. Oh, come on. Or the other king. I'm gonna tell him I'm the king. And the, oh, 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 I'm sorry. The, the, of course, you have the young lady who's doing this science thing, whatever. Yeah. All of them mean nothing if it wasn't for Nakia. We, American descendants of chattel slave, we are spies. We are supposed to live. There's no such thing as suicide in our head, in, in our head, or in our, our lineage, or in our heritage. We have information that's supposed to go both ways, Africa and the Americas. If, not if, the debt is due, think about it. The debt is due. People want to put a price on it. Here's what I say. 25 trillion in American currency, 25 trillion in cryptocurrency, and another 25, let's do 21, I like three is a better. 21 trillion in you know, American currency, 21 trillion in cryptocurrency, and 21 trillion in whatever else, gold, or whatever precious metal we got, silver, whatever you got. That's what you owe us, that's the debt. Put it on you. Oh, you mean you can't? You oh, you can't? You 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 can't do anything? You you can't keep, continue continue to exploit the planet because you owe us this debt. Tough. No more capitalism because you can't. Too bad. You know. Oh, you're gonna let the immigrants in try to take us? I'm sorry. We're in the front of the queue. Whatever you're gonna give them, you can give it to them. But we're first. Come on. That's the debt. You gotta pay the debt first. You understand why this movement is so important to me? I'm just I'm trying to convince you. Where does the Eugene B. Redmond Fighters Club come in? You come in. Because what happens? Remember, this is just a political movement. Mm -hmm. Anytime you look at any movement, what happens is the culture. It's the culture workers that spread that movement. If you don't have the songs, in this day and age, if you don't have the comedians mm -hmm. doing what they do, the mm -hmm. popular people don't know. Yeah, I listen to Yvette and, and, and Antonio, but I also, uh, I, I, I also, 5150. <laughs> I also hang out with 5150. <laughs> Corey Hokum. I love Corey. I'm sorry. I just love him, Corey. Okay? Last thing. So where does Eugene Red, uh, Writers Club come in? What did Eugene create? Oh, sorry. Huh? We need, I'm sorry. I'm asking mm -hmm. you, individually and collectively, to write a series of kosabas yeah. on the theme of the debt due. I'm saying the debt due, but reparations, if you want to say it that way. Remember, that's not just about money. And I come to you mm -hmm. as elders, because you have a perspective that goes way beyond. It's a, it's a through line. Everything I said, you thoroughly understand because I'm talking to my generation. I was born July 3rd, 1950. In the middle of everything. I've been through everything. Quintessential black man. So that's it.
That's why I'm here. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'll be here. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving on the 20th, but it, uh, I have to, because of a number of things, I might have to come back to St. Louis. Um, I got the date right here. Um, the week of uh, the, uh, I'm do, I do an audio drama in uh, New York on the 16th, a really big one. And then that week after, after I think about the 18th to the 23rd or somewhere around there, I will, uh, I'm going to try to make it back to St. Louis. What month? Uh, November, I'm sorry. November. November. What, what, uh, the, 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 the October 20th is what, I mean, September 20th is what day? September 20th is, uh, whoops, whoops, whoops. You, to, you can make another meeting. Yeah, no, no. <clears throat> oh, that's right, uh, cause you, you know, your next meeting on the 17th. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm, 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 I'm just. If you, I'm just. If you like. No, I would like to, but I'm just, I don't want, I just spoke too much already. I had to get everything in, so I'm sorry. I, I'm a radio man. I, 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 That's good. I had to get everything in, I, so I just want to stop it there so you can continue. I, I think, I think that once we finish and we have time, we got something that job with that, an assignment. Well, I don't want to even talk about it right now. They, they can talk about something that we're planning. It's, oh, powerful, man. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, <clears throat> I just want to say that one reason why I traveled everywhere, I was talking to um, a whole bunch about, uh, about 30 media outlets today on the phone, and I was saying, the reason I came home, the way, the reason I left here, mm -hmm. and the reason I came back, and <clears throat> I didn't know and didn't think I would live long enough to get back, but my plan was to go out in the world and do things and see things, meet people, you know, contact people, and then bring it back to these St. Louis. And, and that's what I did, that somebody you know, people who sat in this room, you know, whether it was Avery Brooks or uh, Yusef Komenyaka, you know, Gwendolyn Brooks, that's what I, that's what I was, was after. I wasn't always sure what I was doing. I knew I photographed everything and I knew I took notes. <coughs> um, but you are actualizing what Robert Hayden said, realizing he was very a feat. It's not realized. The poem is not realized yet. Great man. But you've realized, or you're a realization of what I hope to ha have done. To have the greatest thinkers in the world sit in East St. Louis and talk with East St. Louisans and St. Louisans and Kansas City, whoever would come in here, kids like Cornell West uh, did in May of last year, and came in, I picked him up early in the morning, and he went all day. And there were kids like that, there were high school students, there were elders, you know, and he just went all day. Four o'clock, I picked him up the next morning and took him to the airport. And <clears throat> this is, it's kind of like a favor I call in for sending all those pictures of people for 40 years. You got them. Everybody that I know who name I call got a stack, stack of pictures like that every week, every event. And so this was the plan. And uh, I mean, the genius uh, and the need, unquestionable, man. You, you, which, I mean, I'm smarter than I look. <laughs> That's our story. <laughs> that's that's our story. You know, but that's also you got a dime. Can you give me a quarter? I'm smarter than I look. You know, and if you know, that's always go. <laughs> that's what you teach you teach you every day. You know, I'm smarter than I look. You know, because this is not smart traditionally in the image of America. You know. This ain't smart, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to say that. Go ahead, Madam President.